Hello and welcome back to another breaking news update. My name is Jimmy Boyd and you were watching Boyd News. I want to thank you so much for tuning in today. I've got some news coming out from South Korea to share with you. We've got reports that warning shots have been fired once again from the South Korean military to warn North Korean soldiers that they were once again crossing over the demilitarized zone, also known as the DMZ. Now, this is a border between North Korea and South Korea. And this happened just about a week, week and a half ago. We had around like 10 to 20 uh, North Korean soldiers that were working in the area, and they apparently accidentally crossed over into the DMZ. And the South Korean military had to fire warning shots, and they eventually fled and ran back over the border. Now, this same exact thing uh, happened again today. Around 20 to 30 soldiers entered the zone by about 20 meters or 65 feet which was reported by South Korea's Joint Chief of Staff. And uh, yeah, so we had this happening again, and South Korea's having to fire warning shots. And uh, makes me wonder if this is happening, this kind of provocation is happening right now, because what's going on in, in North Korea right now is uh, Vladimir Putin is visiting. He's the Russian president, and uh, he's meeting with Kim Jong-un in Pyongyang, the capital of North Korea, to discuss uh, deepening ties and, and support for each other during this war right now. So lots of stuff happening over here uh, in inside of South and North Korea and lots of tensions on the border recently um, because, like I said, just a week and a half ago, this same exact thing happened. It was on June 9th, um, and apparently some workers were had like tools with them. Some of them were even armed, and some of them had pickaxes, and they supposedly accidentally crossed over into the border. So uh, I want to talk some more about this today. We're also going to be discussing a little bit here, too, that uh, there were some reports coming out today also that uh, apparently over the last few weeks or months, or uh, it wasn't exactly clarified on how many how many times this has happened or how many weeks or you know months back this happened. But uh, apparently what we've been having happening as well uh, on the DMZ is there's been North Korean workers that are there trying to fortify positions along the border. And they've accidentally stepped on a few of these mines that were placed by South Korea, and we've had some casualties. So we're going to be talking about that a little bit as well. But first, I want to get right into this for you on BBC. North Korean soldiers cross border prompting warning shots. So this just coming out today. North Korean soldiers briefly crossed a demilitarized zone on Tuesday, South Korea said, ahead of a rare visit, state visit to Pyongyang by Russian President Vladimir Putin. The soldiers retreated after the South Korean military fired warning shots, but Seoul believes their violation of the border was not intentional. So that's the second time we've actually heard that, where South Korea comes out and says that this was not intentional, they did not mean to cross into it. Um, I mean, obviously I wasn't there, so we can't exactly comment on it, but that's what they were stating, uh, South Korea that is. So South Korea said it believed the soldiers, <clears throat> excuse me, the soldiers accidentally crossed as they were fortifying the border. The second such incident um, over a week, a heavily fortified strip of no man's land separating the north from the south. The DMZ border is not fenced and the signposts are obscured by dense vegetation. About 20 to 30 soldiers entered the zone by about 20 meters, 65 feet. South Korea's Joint Chiefs of Staff said in a statement. It's a second crossing incident in two weeks with Seoul saying North Korean troops crossed into the south on June 9th with tools, including pickaxes, <clears throat> excuse me, pickaxes. They retreated when South Korea used warning shots and gave alerts over a loudspeaker. The JCS noted that North Korea has been sending a large number of troops into the DMZ to clear vegetation and build fortifications since April. The troops have also suffered multiple casualties while working around the DMZ due to landmine explosions during the construction efforts, military officials in Seoul noted. So yeah, apparently they've been sending a lot of their troops on the North Korean side to the DMZ to uh, fortify positions. Obviously, as well, because uh, there's been lots of talk that North Korea is preparing for war right now. So I would think that they want to fortify positions there on the border as well with South Korea, uh, because if this war breaks out, that's where it's all going to be going down at. And while they're down there working and constructing and, and building fortifications, they've accidentally stepped on some of these landmines, um, and it's resulted in some casualties and injuries on the North Korean side. They added that uh, work by North Korea to restore old guard posts in the area was completed in January. And new landmines were then planted on roads between the two countries. This work appears to be aimed at strengthening control over North Korean troops and residents, which includes prevention of defection, the JCS said. From, uh, I don't know if I'm going to say this right, Gyeonggi-do in the west of uh, Gangwon-do in the east, 
Uh, the 160 mile or 258 kilometer long DMZ divides the Korean Peninsula in two. While 196 people fled North Korea to the south in 2023, almost none crossed the fortified border. Most instead crossed into China and then South Korea. The latest crossings comes as North Korea prepares to receive Russian President Vladimir Putin for his first visit to the country in more than 20 years after North Korean leader Kim Jong-un traveled to Russia last year. So I did a report on that this morning. If you want to go and check it out, uh, I put it out uh, this morning talking about Vladimir Putin visiting uh, Pyongyang in, uh, in North Korea. The U.S. has expressed concern about the deepening relationship between the two countries, saying it was troubled by the supply of North Korean missiles for the war in Ukraine. Alongside the U.S., South Korea has also accused the North of supplying Russia with artillery and other equipment, likely in exchange for food and military aid. There has been heightened tension between Seoul and Pyongyang in the last few weeks as South Korea resumed propaganda broadcasts towards the North in response to Mr. Kim's regime. Uh, sending hundreds of balloons carrying rubbish across the border. So that's another big thing that's been happening too. So lots and lots of uh, provocative acts coming from uh, both sides technically, but starting with North Korea, North Korea was sending these balloons, <coughs> excuse me, over the border and they were filled with trash. Trash and some of them I think even had cow maneuver, manure. And they were doing this uh, for like about two weeks maybe, in a week or two weeks long. And uh, I think this has kind of stopped now because I haven't heard any reports of it, but they were doing this for a little while. And then uh, uh, South Korea started to respond to this. They pulled out of a military pact uh, that they had with North Korea, which allowed them to, uh, you know, beef up their forces along the border. And then they also put up loudspeakers. They started blasting, you know, pop music into uh, North Korea as like kind of like a retaliation for this event. So things are definitely very tense over here. And then at the same time, now we're seeing these soldiers start to cross over from North Korea into the DMZ. So uh, not 100% sure whether this is intentional, but the uh, Joint Chiefs of Staff from South Korea is stating that it's not intentional, that these are uh, accidental uh, mistakes by the North Korean soldiers accidentally crossing into the DMZ. I mean, I wouldn't see why they would want to purposely do that anyway if it's riddled with mines, right? So I guess it is possible that maybe at times, because there's so many workers in the area, maybe some of them are happening to uh, accidentally cross into the into the border, uh, you know, un unintentionally. So finally, I just want to show you this here real quick, just go over this. This is on Newsweek. North Korean soldiers suffer uh, multiple casualties from landmines in the DMZ. So this came out uh, yesterday, actually. North Korean soldiers working inside the demilitarized zone have been injured or killed by exploding mines, the South uh, Joint Chief of Staff said on Tuesday. South Korea's military said the North continues to order troops to, into the front lines of the DMZ, despite the fact that multiple casualties are occurring due to several landmine explosions, according to the Yonhap News Agency. The DMZ is a 25 mile wide buffer zone either side of the military demarcation line, the de facto border since the Korean armistice of 1953. Apart from being one of the most militarized borders anywhere in the world, is also heavily mined. The Joint Chief of in Seoul did not say when and where the explosions occurred. North Korea's embassy in Beijing did not immediately respond to requests for comment early on Tuesday. So yeah, they, they did not uh, indicate here when and where these explosions happened when these uh, troops were apparently crossing into the DMZ. So here it is right here, actually. Here's it on, the, on a, a map for you. So this is where this happens a lot, uh, where these troops will accidentally cross in here. And this is riddled with mines, okay? This entire area uh, is, you wouldn't want anybody on either side to be walking through here because there's just mines and traps and everything everywhere. Uh, so... That's apparently where this is happening at, and we're getting reports that uh, apparently some North Korean soldiers were were uh, being killed by accidentally walking into these areas uh, because, again, the North Koreans apparently are beefing up their fortifications along the border um, because there's obviously lots of tensions right now between North and South Korea, and I've been covering this for weeks now. Um, this has been going on for a very long time, obviously, but in the last few months, we've had lots and lots of of tensions between these two countries. We've had North Korea launching multiple ballistic missiles as well in a show of force, sometimes towards uh, Japan or over Japan. We've been hearing a lot of that uh, towards the start of the year. So, uh, you know, North Korea is, is on the verge of, of declaring war against South Korea at any time. Um, and we've, we've been talking about this for a while. And uh, Kim Jong-un has even been traveling to all of his uh, military sites where they produce military equipment and checking in on those. And uh, preparing their country for um, a state of war at some point. But yeah, I just wanted to share this information for you again. 
Uh, so just to recap, we had some shots fired on the uh, DMZ. Uh, the South Koreans had to fire them to warn some North Korean soldiers, 20 to 30 of them, that again, they were crossing into the DMZ, uh, the demilitarized zone. So let me know what you think down below. This is the second time this has happened. So very crazy news. Share your thoughts, concerns, and opinions down in the comment section. If you got something out of this, please smash that like button. Also, if you enjoy my content, please consider subscribing down below. Hit the notification bell. That way YouTube can notify you with that. I hope you all have a great day. Everybody take care and God bless. And we'll see you in the next one.